Uh, Puppy Mill is a commercial breeding facility for dogs. Generally, they have um, 100, 200, 300, 500 uh, breeding age dogs. They're usually kept six or eight females and one male to a cage not much bigger than they, they can be in it um, and turn around. Um, it's wire uh, bottom, they don't touch the ground. Uh, the, the conditions that, that they come to me in are just unbelievable. One of the things that people should know about Crossroads is, you know, we take the dogs who need us most. And so while uh, a lot of groups do a lot of adoptions, uh, ours are a bit slower because ours, the dogs we take in a lot of times need a lot more medical help or behavior modification or training, etc. And so um, even though we don't have the numbers, the work that we do is good and uh, the dogs deserve every chance that I can give them to have a good life, whether it's with me for the rest of their lives or in one of our foster homes or in a forever home. Um, we decided on the name Crossroads Shih Tzu Rescue um, because we chose Crossroads because we felt that um, the dogs that we take in generally are at a crossroads in their lives. Many of them come from animal shelters where if they continue on the path that they were on, they'd be euthanized. And so we offer them a different path um, and a better path. So we have our refuge program within Crossroads, which is for uh, dogs that come in that have health or behavior issues that render them unadoptable, whether it's for a short period of time, you know, long enough for them to get healthy, or that aren't for whatever reason not considered adoptable, whether because they have a serious medical issue or behavior to where it's an, um, too much of a liability for us to place them in a home. Polar Refuge and the uh, rescue itself is my life. Uh, it consumes pretty much everything that I do. Uh, taking care of the dogs, uh, I get calls and emails every day of dogs that are needing to get into rescue, whether being released from puppy mills or animal shelters or other situations. Um, between that and the daily tasks of caring for all of the dogs, the cleaning, the laundry, the feeding, everything, it, it's my life. So each one has their own group of medications that they get each each day twice a day and they actually like it because they get it in these little uh, treat pockets as you can see we're getting excited to get our medicine we're gonna give Dixie hers there we go and we'll give Odin his I think the hardest part about taking care of the dogs is, <clears throat> well, for one thing, it's not being able to help them all. Uh, having to say no, which I do regularly, uh, because I just don't have anywhere to put them. But you'd think that the hardest part would be saying goodbye, which I have to do with some regularity. And to some extent, I guess it is. But the, the, the reward of giving them time that they wouldn't have had otherwise and knowing that what time they did have was good and knowing that when they passed away, they did it from my arms and they knew that they were loved and that everything that could be done had been done for them to ease that passing as much as I possibly can.
it's it's worth it.